Hey y'all, I've got an ab workout today. Um, and it's gonna work a little bit more than just your abs, right? Most of the time when people come and they wanna work their abs, what they really mean is their core, which isn't just like your six pack abs. So we're gonna kinda work from all angles, all directions, using Pilates to work your abs. So if you've ever taken a Pilates class, you know that it is really like all ab work because it's really all about the core and it's, it's just a core-centric workout. So uh, we'll work in a few different positions and kind of just give you a short um, ab-centric, core-centric workout. So we're gonna start laying on your back. So we'll come all the way down. Um, and let's start here with feet down. We'll bring legs together and then bring hands back behind the head. So we'll start with what you would call like a crunch, right? In a regular uh, fitness class or in just a regular workout. So in Pilates, we want to use the word chest lift because instead of just crunching up or I'm just moving my head and my neck, I want to lift the chest and get the shoulder blades off the mat. So we're taking an inhale and then exhale, lift the chest. So as we're lowering and lifting here, we want to make sure we're getting the range of motion right. So elbows stay out, shoulders are pulling down towards the hips, really getting the shoulder blades off the mat. So we're feeling that whole midsection work. So it's not just the top part of your abs, we're pulling all the way from the pelvic floor, from top to bottom, side to side. And still going there, exhale, lift. As we lift and lower here, we wanna focus on keeping the pelvis stable. So another element of a strong core or strong abs is being able to work the abs while keeping the pelvis neutral, the pelvis stable. So we're not letting the pelvis shift up and back as we lift the head and shoulders, but keep it stable. So we're isolating the movement from that top half of the body, focusing on those deep abdominal muscles. Let's go four and three and two. Last one, lift up, hold it here. We lift the right leg up so that pelvis is still in the same position and we switch. So now really working on stability here. So now this exercise, while we are moving the legs, focusing on stability of the upper half, holding the abs tight, holding the upper half in place, the trunk in place as the legs move. Elbows are out, still trying to keep shoulder blades off the mat. We tap three. And one more. Hold it there, bring both legs up to tabletop, bring the upper body down, and then reach the arms up overhead. Shoulders pulling down the back. Now, making our lever a little longer, a little bit more of a challenge, exhale, we lift up. If you wanna bring the hands back behind the head, they can come back into the same position. Again, our pelvis and our legs go in the same, or uh, are still stable as we lift and lower the upper half. Make sure we're not tensing up the neck and letting the shoulders come up as we lift the head and shoulders. Shoulders pulling down the back, down for three, and two. Last one, let's lift it up. Bring the hands back around behind the head. Now getting into the obliques, those side ab muscles. Rotate across to the left leg, extend the right leg out. Make sure we're not lowering the leg too far. We don't let, want to let the pelvis shift. Pelvis is still in the same position, so we're shooting to the diagonal. We switch legs. Exhaling to twist. So with the breath, you want to exhale to pull the abs in deeper. Using the exhale, contract the abs. Contract the abs. Leading with the armpit, keeping the elbows out. We twist for three. And two. And one. Bring the upper half back to center. Lower the upper half down. And let's bring the arms down by the hips. So now, our legs are still on tabletop. Make sure they're not into the chest, but they're right over the hips. Shins parallel to the floor. Walk the shoulders down. Now, as we're laying on the floor, we're not relaxed. We're still engaged. So pulling the ribs front to back, side to side. Pull the abs, belly button to back. Now we're not pressing the, the low back to the mat. We still have a little curve of the back, but our abs are tight. So if you were to hit your stomach, punch yourself in the stomach, everything is still tight. So working here on the floor, just getting a different angle, a different position for the abs. Right foot taps down and we switch legs. 
So now while this might feel a little bit easier because we're not using that top part of the abdominals as much, it should still be worked. If you don't feel your abs working, you need to engage a little bit more, pull the ribs and the abs in as the legs move, and make sure you're not just flipping your knees back and forth, you're moving from the hips, from the hips, so reaching out to the front rather than straight down. Tapping three, and two, and one. Now let's extend the legs, so we're reaching out, keeping the shoulder blades connected to the floor, so I still feel my abs working. Shoulder blades pressing down, pelvis stable. Pressing three, and two, and one. Bring both legs back to tabletop, and let's bring just your left foot to the floor, extend the right leg up. So I'll, I'll show a few different variations for this. Now, first we're just gonna start with lowering and lifting, so I'm bringing the legs straight down, and then straight up. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. So now, as we're moving the leg, now we, of course we feel the leg working, so we feel the quad and the hamstring. We really want to make this from the abs. When we start to move the legs a little bit more, our abs really have to work to stabilize your trunk. If you want a little bit more, you can either bring that left leg to tabletop or extend it down on the floor. If this creates tension in your low back, if it starts to make your hip kind of seize up, bring the foot back down to the floor, back to that original position. Let's do one more just down and up. Now here's where we get into the real ab work. Bring the leg out to the side, down, around and center. Inhale out. So we're going into leg circles here. Keep the shoulder blades connected to the mat. And our left leg is stable. So if your left leg is down, it stays down. If it's here, it stays there. While we are moving the leg in the hip joint, we feel our hip flexor working. We feel the quad and the hamstring working. We really want to make it from the abs. We have two. One more, bring it back to center and reverse. Go the other direction, around and center. So we can kind of play with the range of motion. We want to keep it small enough to where we're not letting our pelvis sh uh, shift positions all over the place, but big enough where we are making our abs have to work. Let's go two more that direction. And one more, bring the leg back to center. Bring that foot down, bring the left leg up. So we'll start with this foot on the floor. We press the left leg down and back up. Walk the shoulders down if they've crept up. They have a tendency to kind of shift up to the neck. So pulling down the back. If you're feeling good there, you can bring that leg to tabletop or you can bring it all the way down to the floor. Again, if you feel yourself shifting or if you're here, this, if your foot, if your leg can't straighten all the way and your pelvis is shifted, just bring your foot all the way down and you can work your way up to a straight leg. Pull the abs in tight. Remind yourself to pull the abs in, pull the ribs in, everything tight. One more, bring it up. Now let's circle out to the left. We're out, down around the center. And out. Keeping the shoulder blades connected to the floor. We're down for three. And two. Last one, bring it back to center and let's reverse. Go across and across, circling three, pull the abs in, circling two, and one, bring it back to center, bring that foot to the floor, bring the other foot to the floor, and then bring both legs up to tabletop. Arms are still down, we'll just keep them down by the side for now. Legs are together from here, going into that lower part of the abdominals. So we say low abs. I don't really think there's such thing as low abs with that. So we're just going to feel it more in that lower part. Inhale here on the exhale. We lift the hips. Inhale to lower and lift. So now making this small and controlled. So notice I'm not bringing the knees all the way in and rocking. Just a little rock to lift the pelvis. It's barely lifting. We want to pull up through the pelvic floor. So as you're lifting, you're pulling up and in. So pulling in with, I call them your PP pee -pee muscles, so those muscles you use when you have to pee and you're holding your pee in, pull that up and in as you lift the legs up. We have three, two, and one. Now bring the legs down, now bring the hands back behind the head. Elbows are out, we're still in the same position, same thing with the legs, exhale. Now, as the pelvis comes off the mat, we want to lift the head, shoulders, everything up. We lower and lift and lower. Getting the shoulder blades all the way up. We have four, 
three, two. Now as the knees come up, we're gonna add a little rotation for the lower half, so knees to the right and center, left and center. Upper body still going straight up and down. It's my knees going across and center, getting a little into the obliques. Two more sets. And one more right. And one more left. And then we take a big stretch out, arms and legs out. And let's flip it over to the left side and get some more oblique work here. So let's stagger the legs left, uh, right over left. So my left elbow is down, right leg staggered on top, right hand on the hip. Now I'll show you the, the, the exercise and then if you want to modify it, I'll show you this. So exhale, we're lifting up. We're just bringing the hips down and then lift the hips up. Option two is with the knee on the floor. So the hips are still coming down and up, but our left knee stays down. Pulling the belly to the back here. So almost think of pulling, like tucking your tailbone under, pulling pubic bone up to the belly button. So we're not arching the back as we lift a side plank. We've got three and two. Bring it up and hold it on this one and then reach the right arm up. If you want to drop the left knee, drop it down. Take an inhale. X3 twist, reach to the back. Now as we're twisting to the back, right hip stays there. So I'm not twisting my hips, just the arm and the shoulder. Reaching up and through. For three. And two. And one. Now bring that arm back up here. Bring the arm up over the ear. Inhale here. Exhale, elbow to knee in front. Bringing it out and in front. Still keeping the ribs lifted. Keeping the shoulder pulled down. Drop the left knee if you need to. We've got three. And two. One more. Bring that foot down. Bring the other arm back up. Drop the hips. Bend the knees. And we'll reach over to stretch out the ribs on the left. Let's come all the way up. Swing it around to the other side and bring your right elbow down and bring your left foot across. So hands come, hand comes back to the hip. Inhale here. Exhale, we lift up to side plank. Inhale lower. Now if you want to, option two is here and keep the knee down. Just work your right. If you still need more help, you can also keep that front hand or top hand in front. So you can kind of give yourself a little extra support. What we don't want to happen is let the hips twist. We want to keep hips stacked. So top hip over the bottom hip, top shoulder over the bottom shoulder. We've got three and two. Last one, bring it up, hold it. Bring the left arm up, take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the back. Inhale to lift and twist. Inhale up, dropping the bottom knee down if you need a little less on the shoulder. We've got three and two. And one, <clears throat> come back to center, bring that left arm over the head, inhale here, elbow to knee in front. And out, keeping it right up right, careful not to round the back, keep the spine neutral, the back straight. We've got three, and two. Last one, bring it back up overhead, let's drop the hips, bend the knees, and reach over to the feet. Take a breath to come up here. Let's finish here, face front. So we're gonna turn over and bring your elbows to the floor. Elbows come down right underneath the shoulders. I'm just gonna stay in fist, so you can bring hands down if you want, but if it helps with support, go ahead and go into a fist. Extend the right leg, extend the left leg, come into plank. Now careful here that we're not arching the back. So here, let me pull this up so you can see. So we wanna be able to find neutral spine again, flattening the back, pull the abs up. So you see the difference here, I'm letting the belly sink letting the back arch, and then there, pull my tailbone under. Hold it here. Push up with the floor. Option two here, stay on the knees. Just work your way up to having knees off the floor. So starting here, we're just gonna take a full breath in. And another breath. With the legs together, let's lift the hips up. Inhale, and exhale, lower. Inhale, up, and lower. Lifting for three, two, and one more. Come into your plank and stay here. Inhale, we tap the knees and lift. Now, if you can't do both, go ahead and go one at a time so you can tap one and then switch other. We're tapping. We've got three and two. 
Last one. Lift up, stay here. We're twisting hips to the right, center, and left. Getting a little bit more into the obliques. Try not to stick into the shoulders. If you're on your knees, you can still twist. So we're going right, center, left, center. Right, and left. Let's do one more set. To the right, to the left. Come back to center, take a full breath. And one more. Let's drop the knees, and then stretch back to child's pose. Take a full breath there. And then a breath to come up. All right, that's your short little ab workout. So you could easily go back and do this one again. You could do it again and add some more reps. But just to give you an idea of how to work the core in all different directions, so you're not just working the front one or side, front to back. See y'all in the next one.